Hello, everybody. My name is Sean Marshall, and welcome to the Behavior Bubble. Today, we're going to read My First Kwanzaa by Karen Hacks. Hooray! Hooray! It's time to get ready for Kwanzaa. What are we getting ready for? That's right, Kwanzaa. First, we get the Kanara. It is made of shiny wood. What do we have to get first? That's right, say it with me, the Kinara. I put in seven candles, three red, one black, and three green candles. We light a candle every night to celebrate a special idea. What are we celebrating? That's right, a special idea. Mommy brings the Kikambe, the unity cup. What does mommy bring? That's right, say it with me, the Kikambe. That is the unity cup. For each child, we place one ear of corn called Muhindi on a straw mat. My brother brings apples, yams, nuts, and squash. The fruits and vegetables, called the mazeo, reminds us of the end of the harvest and the beginning of the planting season. Just like in Africa, what are some of the fruits that you see? Ooh, what's this? That's right, I see some apples. I see squash at the bottom. I also see corn and yams. On the first day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Umoja. That means unity. What do we celebrate on the first day? That's right, say it with me, Umoja. That means unity. On the first day of Kwanzaa, neighbors come to visit. We ask Habarigani, which means, what's the news? What do we say? We say Habarigani. That means, what's the news? We laugh and talk and sing. We are friends and family. On the second day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate, ooh, this is a big word, listen, Kuji Chakalia. That means self-determination. What do we celebrate on the second day? Remember our big word, Kuji Chakalia. That means self-determination. On the second day of Kwanzaa, I ask mommy to braid my hair in a fancy, African way. It makes me feel so proud. How does she feel? That's right, she feels proud. On the third day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Ujima. That means working together. What do we celebrate? That's right, we celebrate Ujima. That means working together. On the third day of Kwanzaa, we plant flowers in the lot next door. We all work together to make our neighborhood pretty. What do we plant in the what do, what do they plant in the lot next door? That's right, they plant flowers to make the neighborhood look pretty. On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Ujama. That means helping our neighborhoods grow. What do we celebrate on the fourth day? That's right, we celebrate Ujama. That means helping our neighborhoods grow. 
On the fourth day of Kwanzaa, we buy special food for our celebration. We like to shop in our neighborhood stores to keep our neighbor, our businesses strong. So where do we like to shop? That's right, in our shops in our neighborhoods to keep our businesses strong. What do we use to buy things? What's in his hand? That's right, we need money. We need money to buy things from our stores. On the fifth day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Nia. That means purpose. What do we celebrate on the fifth day? That's right, we celebrate Nia. And that means purpose. On the fifth day of Kwanzaa, I dream of what I can be. Someday, I will be an African dancer, just like my Aunt Tasha. Ooh, what are they doing? That's right, they are dancing. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Kuumba. That means creativity. What do we celebrate? Good job, we celebrate Kuumba. That means creativity. On the sixth day of Kwanzaa, my cousin and I paint a clay pot and we weave some baskets. We will make our house beautiful. What are they gonna make to show creativity? Good job, they're gonna paint a clay pot. What else are they gonna make? That's right, they're gonna make a basket to make their house look pretty. On the seventh day, the last day of Kwanzaa, we celebrate Imani. Imani means faith. What do we celebrate on the last day? That's right, we celebrate Imani, and that means faith. On the seventh day of Kwanzaa, we light the last candle to show our faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. So what do we light on the last day? That's right, we light the last candle on our Kinara. We want to show faith in ourselves, our family, our future, and our past. Grandma gives us zawadi. Zawadi are gifts. What does grandma give us? That's right, say it with me. Zawadi. Those are gifts. Okay. Grandma gives us zawadi, gifts for promises that we have kept all year. A homemade doll for me and an African shaker gourd for my younger brother. At last, it is time to feast. We call it karamu. That means feast. What do we celebrate on the last day? That's right, say it with me, Karamu. That is our big feast. Friends come over and everyone cooks delicious African food. The house smells so good. Mmm, spicy chicken and sweet yams. We all take a sip from the Unity Cup and share a wonderful meal. So what do they take a sip from? That's right, the Unity Cup. Then we sing, dance, play music, and celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa.